Good morning everyone. This is Jason with Pest Center Outdoors. Sorry for the foggy lands. I just got out from a nice dry cold house into a nice little warm humid area. We're going to go over the garden today. I haven't seen it in seven days. So we're going to go ahead we're going to do a little bit of a walk around of the area and get it all checked out. All right, hold on while I get this thing switched around. Uh, yeah, we had the storms come through that last Thursday night before I took off for the, um, the get-together there in Arkansas, which was actually awesome. Thank you, Mike, for having a wonderful meetup. Uh, so today, we're also going to be doing the greenhouse. We're going to be pulling off the uh, greenhouse, turning it into a shade house. So... As you can see, tomatoes are getting huge there. They should start producing here shortly. Marigolds are starting to bloom. There's the marigolds. And Anaheim pepper. So, my strawberries are doing absolutely ballistic. That is awesome. And unfortunately, um, I don't think the, uh, everything was watered enough, so it didn't get taken care of while I was gone. Uh, those might still survive. Those might survive. Oh, I might have a couple of dills left. But yeah, all my backup plants all done. Pumpkins are done. The uh, sunflowers are done. But the asparagus are doing wonderful. Ground cherries are going. Uh, fortunately, the wind came through and just decimated my uh, my work area. So the, those were the high winds last Thursday. And let's see, the garlic might be ready to come out here shortly. Oh my goodness, that got a little overgrown. Look at that cucumber. Oh wow. Yeah, that one's a little bit too late for that one. But yeah, we'll, we'll pick him. Uh, let's see, uh, any other cucumbers? I've got some small ones right there. They're about ready to go. So, which is really good. So I only see one cucumber, two cucumbers. I wonder if I can still slice those up and put those into uh, pickles, slice the pickles. I might have to do that. But uh, banana peppers are doing good. I got some banana peppers. I got several. <clears throat> the hot peppers are doing really good. Uh, I got a beautiful marigold. Uh, grape is doing good, it kind of fell over, but thank goodness that was in the way. Irises are growing, and look at this. The gladioluses are blooming. Looks like I got a lot of red. That one looks like that might be a white. We'll find out. Uh, the beans aren't doing all that great. Um, this pepper's doing pretty good. I got two peppers there. Um, and look at all the peas. Look at all the peas. I mean, just everywhere. Everything needs to be watered. Armenian cucumbers are doing Armenian cucumber things. Was just sitting there doing nothing. Those didn't get enough watered. This thing is going to be going away. Old shower that was on the property here. Uh, that was doing pretty okay. It looks like I need to trim this branch off here. And maybe that one there too. Get that to promote new growth. And come over here. And look at the beautiful corn. <clears throat> it's starting now, starting to tassel now. So I'm gonna go ahead and have to tie these up here. Potatoes doing potato things. Right there. The what's left of the daikon radish and I don't know if I'm going to save those seeds or not I already have hundreds of seeds this corn is doing well so it's going to be time to put the um, pole beans in <clears throat> looks like uh, these are doing okay I mean there's just got some good leaves on there gladiolus is in there, marigolds uh, kale looks like it might be the heat Last past few days, I gotta pull some weeds out of there. And like I said, I haven't seen it in several days. 
and that's about it folks I know this video is already long enough as it is yeah the asparagus over there are doing fine actually let's go take a look oh look at this look at this I got red berries from the asparagus so that means they're starting to go sorry for the traffic folks but oh yeah look at all those nice little seed berries this is doing real good I like said this is off the parent plant I've had for four years next year I'll be able to do a lot more asparagus and you can see I got another shoot going Woohoo! hopefully I'll get flowers off of that one I got more flowers right here as you guys can see those little blooms that one is there is opening up as soon as I can find it where's that right there that's when it's opening up and that's the bloom of the asparagus and looks like that might be all I have alrighty okay let's go take a look at the apple tree and the um, plum tree I think it's a plum no it's a nectar I think it might be a nectarine as you can see this is all I have left of the tree. A lot of it's just, you know, didn't make it. So I got one branch. So I'm going to try and baby this one here this year. But oh my goodness, the apple tree. That thing is really starting to grow. And that is putting on a lot of growth. So. I don't expect any apples this year, even though it did have a couple of blooms. But right now it's my only surviving apple tree. Which is actually really good. But yeah, like I said, I'm holding my camera at eye level. I'm six foot two. And look how high that thing is going. Yeah, this apple tree. Uh, I don't know. Let's see, the top of it died off. And I do have a couple of, I'm going to have to choose one, that was going to have to come off. But I might keep this stalk right here, because it's above the graft. And uh, I'll probably remove those two right there, and I'll probably cut it right about here. I'll put something over the top of it so nothing can get down in there. Then I will have an apple tree that survived. I gotta get rid of that sucker here and these leaves here. Then uh, we'll take care of that full of aphids. So I'm gonna have to get out here and take care of the aphids. And he'll next to it trying to take care of the aphids. But yeah, so this one here is the um, that one right there, the Dorset apple. As you see, the top of it didn't make it. Sorry for all the traffic. But I'm pleased how well this was doing. Alrighty guys, I passed the eight minute mark. And this is Jason with Pest Center Outdoors. And you guys have a wonderful day. And enjoy the garden. Get outside and garden and